what do you think that mesmerizes about space and space travel? And in this case, like there's a quantum element, like reality is not what it seems. Like, tell me, why do you think we love these shows? <laughs> You need to help me. I need to go back to her. Do I seem the same to you? I just don't feel like you're my mom. I mean, we are allowed to go back to being children. Everything is possible. Who knows? It's endless. We can dream, we can imagine. It's nightmares and dreams kind of dancing together. I get stuck on the, on the term nightmares. Um, I hope not. There's not a <laughs> great difference between a child's perception and the insecurity of getting older. Um, when you're older, a lot of those dreams of flight and the nightmares, the tiger that has you by the shoulder um, when it's just an old age cramp. <laughs> but um, there's, yeah, there's my answer. Astronauts go through things they don't understand. That's when people come unstuck. When we were when we were kind of working out how we would uh, what you know how we would shoot it and and things we we watched an awful lot of uh, the raw footage that that they that they have from up there of the spacewalks and things like that and there's just something which is kind of primarily hypnotic about it it's like watching you know it's like watching a fire burn um, uh, there's something you can watch hours and hours of that and and it, it never gets boring and I think it's I think it's because that's kind of, um, you know, that's something that I wanted to touch on in, in the show. It's just so amazing that you can be off the earth and you can see you can see the earth spinning below. And that's all, you know, that's everything we know and that's everybody we've we've ever known. And as far as we know, that's the only life in the entire universe of trillions and trillions of stars. That's the that's the only single pocket of meaning in you, you know, infinity, as far as we know right now. So I think, I, I mean, you know, that's fascinating. It, uh, you know, for the for the characters in the show and for the astro and for astronauts in general, you know, that switches something in your brain to 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 really have that realization that that that's it and 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 we're out here and uh, you know that has powerful effects in real life. It has power effects on the characters, and I think just uh, just for to glimpse it on a computer screen, um, it still has a powerful effect. So I think that's why that's why space is interesting. It's also a little bit scary. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's looking for an escape, oh. and mm. yeah. we escape as human beings all the time. If you had a family with children, you're looking for an escape, and sometimes that escape is great, and sometimes it's not. So I think. We've done a great job of having you look within. Is this escape that I'm looking for, is it important or should I be present and stay in it? And you're dealing with, I call it the big three, time, space, and distance. And in life, a lot of times you hear, I just need space. They're not actually talking about physical space. They're talking about space and capacity to think. Or I just don't have the time right now because I don't have the time to deal with what you're telling me. Or we, we are married, but we're laying in a bed, but we're so distant apart. So those are the things that Peter really wanted to touch on. Because when I was asking him questions, he said, this is about family. This is about love. This is about regret. This is about the human psychology and how do we cope with things in the midst of trying to find that escape. Mm -hmm.